tonight we have a UFC. You ready for my picks? Here they come. Hey everybody, Jeff Bates is the name. Dole Whip Dad is the channel. Disney, sports, family food. Those are the stuff we talk about today. It's sports. There's a big UFC tonight. A very, very big UFC tonight. If you're not a UFC fan, see you later. We're talking UFC tonight's big fight. And there's a few big fights. Johnny Bones Jones versus Anthony Smith. Listen, everybody loves and or hates, sometimes both, Bones Jones. Probably the most gifted fighter we've ever seen. Certainly one of the greatest fighters we've ever seen. I'm a fan of him because he's so good. He's clearly a mental midget. I, don't, I feel like a jerk saying that. I don't know the guy, what do I know? He's made some mistakes, right? Um, I'm not so sure if we can call him the greatest fighter ever. There's certainly an asterisk there. I'm not a fan of asterisks, but I don't know what to do with him. Uh, I saw him fight live in San Diego where he destroyed, oh boy, what was his name, Matushenko or whatever. Uh, been a fan since then because, you know, I got, was lucky enough to see him. So much fun to watch it live. So much fun to watch him on pay-per-view. So much fun to watch him, period. I even think he's must watch press TV. When he's interviewed, I'm listening. Loved him on Rogan. Lo I love him with all, all the all the MMA people. If he's on, I'm watching because he's a fascinating guy. And I'm actually rooting for him as a human because um, I think he's got his heart in the right place. He just makes some mistakes. Who among us hasn't, right? And then you got Anthony Smith, Lionheart. Now, is he all-time great? No. Is he a beast who can knock you the heck out? Yes. Is the, what are the odds? The odds are minus 900 Jones plus 600 Smith. So that means you got to put $900 down to win 100 if you think Jones is going to win. But if you put 100 down, you win 600 if Smith wins. I'm not going to tell you that I think Smith is a better fighter. I'm not. I'm going to tell you he's an elite fighter. He is one of the greatest at that weight we have right now. Now, is there a large gap between Jones and Smith? Yeah, there probably is. But you ready for my pick? Smith by KO round one. Smith by KO round one. I've been thinking about this fight for a while. Jones has had so much going on in his life. He just got off a fight, what, December? I'm not saying he's not the better fighter. I'm not saying he won't win the eventual rematch if this happens. But is there really a one in six chance that Smith doesn't knock him out? No. Will I be surprised if Jones beats him up and dominates? No. I'm picking Smith KO round one. I see it. I feel it. I think it. What do I know? So don't go spend your money. <laughs> but I would. I think Smith's going to win by knockout in round one. I think Jones wins the second fight. If there's a trilogy, I think he wins the third fight. I think it changes the dynamic. I think it's something we need because the lightweight division is so, um, there's nobody there. But I think, um, I think Smith wins. So there's my pick for the biggest fight of tonight. Bones Jones KO'd, biggest shocking upset since Sarah knocked out GSP. That's what I think. Tyrone Woodley versus, I'm going to call him Marty too. Marty Uzman. I, I like me some Ben Askren. We'll get to that later. Um, okay, so Kamara is great. He's elite. He's excellent. Tyrone Woodley is a couple years older than him. Woodley is one of the greatest welterweights of all time. I don't think Usman is the number one guy to fight next. I don't even think he's the number two guy. For me, it's Woodley, Stephen Thompson, then maybe what, Till Covington, Usman, Woodley, Thompson, Till Covington, Usman, that's what I think in the welterweight. So yeah, I'm not saying the number five guy can't take out the number one guy, especially when he's four years younger. Usman's a stud, but Woodley's a beast. Woodley is gonna take care of business and be done with it. I'd like, him to, like to see him fight Wonder Boy again. I don't know if Wonder Boy is healthy. I don't know if that's gonna happen. Maybe he goes up. The next best welterweight is probably Ben Askren. Let's see what happens. I know he's gotta fight Lawler. Stay tuned for my pick on that one. I don't, I'm intrigued. 
with what's going to happen if Willie wins this fight. I hope he wins. I picked uh, an upset in the in the main main fight, but in the co-main event, I'm taking Woodley by destruction. KO round one. And by the way, Tyrant, stop telling everybody that we don't think you're the greatest welterweight ever, because I think you are. Now, if you haven't noticed yet, this is a great card. This is not the main event. This is not the co-main event. This is the third fight on an amazing card. I'm going to start off with Robbie Lawler is one of my favorite fighters ever. Watching him, I think the first fight I saw him was against Nick Diaz 3,000 years ago. What a fight that was. Fell in love with Nick Diaz that night. But Robbie Lawler is amazing. What a beast. What a fun guy. Hall of Famer. I love him. But listen, Ben Askren. So I've been a fan of Ben Askren for quite some time. And I've been a fan of him because of his mouth and his tweets. Dude is funny. I'm a fan of this guy. I want him to win just so he has a great career. I I, I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm not saying Robbie can't knock him the heck out. Robbie might knock him the heck out. <laughs> but I think Ben gets on him. I think his superior wrestling makes it. Everybody's talking about it might be a boring fight. Okay, it might be a boring fight if you don't like fighting. If you just want to knock out. I'm not saying Ben can't knock him out. I see Ben wrestling him, getting on top of him, and pounding out. Probably, probably just, probably TKO by by strikes or something on the ground. But I actually picked it to go the distance and have Askren win by decision. But I think Ben wins, and I'm very interested to see what happens. I see him being the welterweight champion moving forward after Tyron goes up. Love Ben. Funky is back. We're here. Big fan. Go Ben. All right, but I, I, I'm picking against Lawler. It's breaking my heart. All right, and the Tisha Torres versus Zhang fight. I don't care too much. Zhang, submission, round one. All right, a lot of you are very excited about this fight. Cody Garbrandt versus Pedro Munoz. I've got a few upsets I'm picking tonight. I think Cody goes down. I think Munoz beats him by decision. I don't think that I'm as enamored with Cody as everyone else is. Certainly an exciting fighter to watch. Pedro Munoz is a stud. I think Pedro gets it done by decision. I think Pedro wins. Another upset. Have I mentioned what a great card this is? Oh my gosh, Jeremy Stevens might have been my fighter of the year for 2018. I guess Cormier was. But Stevens, what a great year he had. I love this kid. I love watching this guy fight. I think he's so underrated. That said, he's fighting Zabit Magomedo Shabarapov. I'm not Joe Rogan, I can't say his name right. Stevens, I love you. I want, I'm a fan. I, I think I am rooting for you because I'm a fan. I've been a fan for years, but Zabit is a stud. Zabit. I don't see how you beat Zabit. Zabit, round one, submission. I think this guy is the next coming of I don't know what. This guy might be one of the all-time greats. Zabit, round one, submission. Now, I'm not making picks for every fight on this video because I don't want to bore you guys to death. If you do want to see all my picks, tapology.com. It's a really nice website. I don't have a relationship with them except for I'm a member. Jay Batesball is my username. Go check out all my picks there if you want. They even have some fun games you can play. Tapology, you need to hit me up. You could be a sponsor of this video. Um, Mickey Gall versus Diego. I love Diego. Diego has, I've been a fan of Diego since the Ultimate Fighter back in the day. Dude's a lunatic. I love that he's a lunatic. I love watching him fight. I love watching him talk. He's crazy with a capital K. Um, but I think he gets beat. Submission round one, Mickey Gall. Just think he does. I, I love you, Diego. Um, Mickey Gall, submission round one. So those are all my picks. Lots of upsets in there. Um, Bates Ball Talk is my new sports channel. Really, really like you to check that out if you're a sports fan. I'm going to be doing some live streaming. I'm going to be live streaming the fight tonight. No, I'm not showing the fights. That's illegal. I'll be watching the fights and we'll be talking about it. I had lots of people in there for the last one we did. Should be a lot of fun. I'll be doing it on my Dope Dad channel, this channel. Um, but in the future, we're going to be going over to Bates Ball Talk. Sub over there if you're a sports fan. I'm going to do a lot of things for baseball season and these UFCs. Thanks for being here. Am I right? Smith gonna knock out Jones. Am I the only dude who's picking him? Actually, no, Chael Sonnen's picking Anthony Smith. I just saw that. So let me know what you think. Tell me I'm an idiot, crazy, whatever you wanna do. Appreciate you being here. Have the best day ever. Go subscribe, smash the red buttons for Dolph Dad and or Baseball Talk. Thanks for being here. See you soon.